Hi everybody, it's Janice. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you the items that I chose from my stash to do my first trial scrap roulette because I'm just trying it out. I know um, I said I was going to start in February. What is the date? Today is January 28th, and there's three more days, four more, three more days till February. But I couldn't wait because I had the time, and this is a mask. Okay, let's talk about this. If you watch the video, the kickoff video for Scrappy Roulette, the first video, these are the items that I chose, the five items that I randomly chose. Um, for this challenge that I'm going to do for myself for the month of February. So I chose eyelets, or not I chose, eyelets, ribbon, craft paper, modeling cream, and text paper. So I'll show you where these items are. I, I began the layout because um, I just, I don't have time to do all that editing stuff, so I really have to do these videos you know the way it works for me so this is what I did I chose them and some of the things I did ahead of time only because it requires drying time when you use modeling cream and um, so here we go so this is what I've got for eyelets I have had I keep my eyelets here and these are eyelets I began collecting Oh, let's see, my son is 11, he was maybe two, so there you go. Like, in the, over the course of nine years, this is where I keep my eyelets, and this is what I have in my stash. So I went through and I just chose some black ones, and I put them on this little piece here that I die cut, and um, put them right here. And I did a visual triangle, so there's some right here, and then there's some on this little tag that I die cut. Now I know die cuts was not in my stash uh, roulette selection, um, but I don't really have a lot of rules for myself. This is fun. For me personally, I know it's supposed to be a challenge, but for me the main thing about the challenge is to use what I have. So as long as I'm not going out and buying more stuff for the challenge, then I'm within the parameters of my challenge, if you know what I mean. So I, I, I have to use these items, but I can use other items from my stash, and that's okay. Because again, the point is that I'm using tools and supplies, okay? So these were all scrap pieces, except for something that... I picked up at um, Joann's before I started it. This was already in my stash. I didn't buy it for the challenge. I picked up the maps, text, and ledger stack because they were 50% off and then I get a teacher discount on top of it. And so I picked this up because I do a lot of masculine pages and cards and things like that. And this is so masculine. I mean, you know, so... That's good. I always have to have that kind of stuff in my stash. And then for the um, ribbon, this was in my stash. It's kind of like a, it's a twill ribbon. And I tied it in a knot. And then I attached a tag to it with some twine and one of these little clothes pinny. It's not really a clothes pin. What do you call these kind of pins? But I like those. Okay, and so, um, and then... This was in my stash too. It was something I made out of with watercolor and mists and stuff like that a long time ago, but just little, little words I made a while back. And then um, this paper came from that ledgers, maps, ledgers stack. And then this is my text paper that came again from this stack. Okay. So that's the text paper, and it's really cool. It's like a price list. It's a price list. 
see that? Compositions for the Piano Forte by Women Composers, 50 cents for the pianist. It's like a catalog, maybe an old Sears catalog. The Child Music Student, Juvenile Play Songs, Greenwald, 40 cents. And I thought that was appropriate because the paper that my son was working on was a math paper and the cat's laying on it like he always does and it's just so cute look at him isn't he a beautiful cat and a handsome boy okay so there you go with that and I just used the whole 8x8 eight eight paper and then the other thing was um, craft paper which is here and it's the background, the whole background. And then the modeling cream I used is this. It's a Viva modeling cream. I got this quite some time ago um, in, on clearance, actually. I remember it was at Joann's. Don't know if they still carry it. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. But it's really gold. So I got that and I used a little spatula with this Heidi Swap um, mask or stencil that I got at Michael's when it was on clearance also. I like to shop the clearance. And then this paper is from another, one of those hot buy paper pads from Michael's. It's not nearby, so I can't show it to you. Um, let's see. And this little tag, this I cut out from a Tim Holtz die set and again I added the modeling cream there and I added the modeling cream there and then these little dots are things that I made myself remember the craze of making your own enamel dots before the dew drops came out so I have a big stash of those use them up it'll probably take me let's see you know how long it's not a roulette thing but again using stuff up and then I'm going to use these little words here, which is something I stamped on my own. And I have a little container that has a bunch of tiny words that I stamped from my stamps in my stash.